hello friends hope you are all well and safe and uh, this uh, these two mcqs on hemat onco critical care medicine series uh, i had put up some time back on youtube community so many people are confused uh, uh, regarding the role of tag and also uh, how to use it what are the values on the values and what are the principles of tag so a lot of things we can discuss over here Uh, within five minutes, so let's understand this. So this is the question which I asked on community. Uh, people have uh, given the varied answer over here, um, and this was another MCQ which I asked on uh, the YouTube community. Take uh, that is otherwise known as the thromboelastic. It is a whole blood point of care test that an analyzes the uh, viscoelastic uh, properties of uh, evolving clot in the patient's whole blood. Okay. So Teg will tell you the information about the fibrin formation, platelet activation, and clot retraction. so uh, understand here the principle of that so it is like it is like this that the whole blood from the patient is added to uh, the activator and then act, and it is placed the whole blood is placed in a cup uh, then a pin that is called torsion pin is immersed into the blood and the cup is then rotated with the help of a motor so there will be two and fro movements of this cup and it will uh, be rotating all the time and uh, once the clot is formed in this blood then this movement of the cup will be transmitted to the torsion pin okay so as the blood clots the rotational movement of the cup is transmitted to the pin a transducer is attached to the spin which converts the torsion on the pin into the thromboelastograph so that is whole uh, principle of tech so once the clot is formed over here okay about 2 uh, mm is the thickness of clot which uh, which is usually registered as uh, some attitude on the you know Uh, on the thromboelastograph. So once the clot starts forming, pin starts moving, okay, and it is shown on the uh, graph paper as amplitude. Uh, more the pin movement, more will be the amplitude. As time passes, clot thickens. This tag can give you the information about how fast clot is formed and how uh, the clot is retracting or clot is degrading. Now let's understand various various terms in tag. Uh, first is the R time. So R time is the time from the blood is spilled in the cup. on tag machine until the initiation of fibrin formation a 2 mm amplitude on the tracing and this reflects the concentration of uh, clotting factors in the plasma now the k time comes so k time is the period of amplitude uh, you know uh, of the tracing to increase from 2 mm to the 20 mm okay then that is that is very important that is called k time then comes the alpha angle so alpha angle is the angle between a tangent to the tracing at 2 mm amplitude and the horizontal midline so both the k time and the angle measures the speed of clot formation so that is called clot kinetics okay uh, otherwise a measure of uh, cross linking later the clot continues to form okay and reaches to a maximum diameter okay that is called maximum amplitude on this tracing after this point onwards the clot doesn't thickens anymore and it starts rather lysing or degrading and the pin movement uh, slows down in the amplitude here two values are very important to remember ly uh, so m is the maximum amplitude of tag and ly 30 you have to remember so ly 30 means how much clot is broken down 30 minutes after ml line okay 30 minutes after ml line how much clot is broken down the percentage okay so that is your uh, ly 30 ly 30 is always in the percentage up to 10% is normal and then comes the ly 60 that is uh, 60 minutes after the ml line how much clot is lysed so that is up to 15% is normal okay as i said our time uh, normally uh, it is uh, up to 10 minutes if it is more than 10 minutes that means that there is a either quantitative or qualitative deficiency in the clotting factor in plasma and there uh, therefore the treatment of choice over here is always the fresh frozen plasma when there is increase in our time so answer of this question on my youtube community uh, post it was the fresh frozen plasma of this question because our time was prolonged i think it was 12 minutes now let's let's understand the k time k time will tell you how fast a clot is formed the speed of clot formation okay normal range of k time is 3 to 6 minutes it is more than 6 minutes that indicates there is inadequate fibrin and it is treated with either fibrinogen concentrate or cryoprecipitate so if the k time is prolonged okay you have to treat it with uh fibrinogen concentrate or cryoprecipitate ma is the surrogate for the platelet function we should know that ma is the measure of clot thickness so, so the firmness of clot the firmness firmness of clot comes with the platelets okay if the platelets are reduced in number or reduced in function the ma will not be that much okay so normal ma value is 50 to 70 mm if it is less than 50 mm that means that there is deficiency of platelet number or reduction in the platelet function reduced mf okay so normal value you should remember 50 to 70 mm it may vary with from machine to machine 
So the question to the answer to this question was uh, basically the platelet because the MA was reduced in this case. So it was 37 millimeter. So after MA uh, is achieved, maximum amplitude of clot is reached, achieved, uh, then uh, clot starts degrading. Okay. So uh, then LY30 comes into picture, which, which is uh, the nature of how much clot is uh, broken. LY30 will increase in cases of hyperpebinolysis. And in such cases, tranexamic acid would be helpful. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for your attention.